Just imagine. While the whole world is racing to acquire more lithium, paying dearly and competing for a supply chain increasingly controlled by China, Elon Musk simply decides to change the game. It's no exaggeration. He's literally ruled out lithium as the centerpiece of Tesla's next-generation batteries. And what's the new star? A material you probably have in your hands right now. Aluminum. Cheap. Abundant. And widely available outside of China. Musk's idea is clear. Cut the ties with geopolitical dependence and transform aluminum into the fuel of a new electric era. But it's not just a chemical element swap. Tesla's so-called aluminum ion super battery arrives in 2026 as a kind of technological trinity. Faster, smarter, and more independent. None of this is empty marketing hype. The cells were designed with an internal structure of ultra-thin layered graphene, which allows for jaw-dropping energy density. 420 dadiyarwer per liter. In comparison, this is more than double the current lithium batteries that power most electric vehicles on the market. Now think about the practical impact of this. With just one pack of 55 Hrtfiuritidus, this new battery can take a Tesla for more than 820 miles. Something like going from Los Angeles to Seattle without stopping once. And we're not talking about a lab test with the air conditioning off. This was designed to be driven in the real world, with roads, traffic, and everything a typical driver faces on a daily basis. It's the kind of advancement that redefines what we call autonomy. The secret to this feat isn't just chemistry. Tesla bet big on reducing the cell's internal resistance to almost zero ohms. This means there's virtually no energy loss within the battery itself. In traditional lithium batteries, some of the charge simply dissipates as heat before even reaching the wheels. Here, almost all the energy is harnessed. It's as if every drop of charge is converted into performance, something that completely changes the driver's experience. And this weighs heavily, especially for those who have always feared running out of charge midway, one of the biggest mental barriers to electric vehicles. Older people, for example, who fear relying on charging stations gain a kind of freedom that only existed with full-tank combustion cars. Only now, with a clean, quiet engine, without the need to visit a gas station. Another notable factor is Tesla's strategic independence. By using aluminum as a base, Tesla escapes pressure from countries that control lithium, such as China. Aluminum is widely available in the United States, Canada, Australia, and other Western partner nations. This means Tesla can build its supply chain locally, accelerating production, cutting logistics costs, and avoiding diplomatic surprises. And it's worth remembering, this isn't the first time Musk has anticipated a global crisis. When everyone was comfortable with gasoline-powered cars, he bet on electric cars. When no one took reusable rockets seriously, he put SpaceX at the forefront of the private space race. Now. By switching from lithium to aluminum, he seems to be seeing the future once again with disconcerting clarity, and this time with a plan to break free from Asian control before his competitors even realize what's happening. Tesla's move marks the beginning of something much bigger than a simple material change. It's a quiet revolution that begins within the cells of a battery, but one that could shake up the entire structure of the global auto industry. After all, when range jumps to over 800 miles without increasing battery size and at a lower cost, the question remains, who will be able to compete with that? If absurd autonomy would already be enough reason to attract attention, what can we say about a battery that knows exactly when and how much of energy to release, as if it had a brain of its own? This is where one of Tesla's boldest innovations comes in. The DSPC, Dynamic Self-Balancing Power Clusters. Instead of activating the battery's entire capacity at once, as in traditional systems, the new structure operates as if it were a swarm of tiny energy brains. Each microcell operates semi-independently, releasing energy on demand with millimeter precision. In practice, 
This means that if the car is only going to drive two blocks to get something from the bakery, only two or three energy clusters are activated. The rest of the battery remains idle without suffering unnecessary stress. Now, if the driver is going to take a long road trip, the system distributes the activation of the clusters throughout the route, taking into account the slope of the terrain, the average speed, and even the driver's driving style. All of this is managed by an onboard AI, an optimized version of Tesla's neural network created specifically for this new energy architecture. The direct impact of this intelligence is brutal. First, cell wear is reduced by more than 30%, considerably extending battery life. Second, consumption becomes much more efficient. The car is no longer a machine that consumes the same amount of energy, whether stopped at a traffic light or accelerating. It learns, adapts, and saves. It's like driving with an invisible co-pilot who understands exactly what the car needs and what can wait for later. For the consumer, this translates into real savings, more confidence, and fewer trips to the charger. And if you think the fear of degradation over the years is still a problem, Elon Musk has a trick up his sleeve. Tesla has developed a new technology solid reinforcement at the edges of the cells, which prevents the formation of the dreaded dendrites, sharp microstructures that, over time, cause internal short circuits and silently kill lithium-ion batteries. This allows the new battery's structure to remain stable even after thousands of cycles. A technical advancement that may seem invisible in everyday life, but guarantees long-term reliability. And what about temperature? Most electric vehicles still rely on complex internal cooling or heating systems to keep the battery operating within a safe range. Tesla's aluminum battery, on the other hand, operates comfortably in temperatures ranging from 45 30 seconds to 150 degrees. Without the need for active thermal modules, this means fewer parts, less weight, less chance of failure, and much greater robustness in extreme climates, whether it's a freezing Canadian winter or the scorching Texas heat. But the real surprise comes when we look at the total useful life of this new package. They are 15,000 complete charge cycles. That's more than any other electric car today can offer. Much more. Converting that to mileage, we're talking about over 4 million miles, enough to orbit the Earth and the Moon eight times. It's the kind of number that completely transforms market logic. Instead of planning to replace the battery in a few years, the buyer can simply forget it exists. It will outlast the car itself. This durability opens the door to a new way of thinking about mobility. Fleet companies, delivery services, public transportation, and even military sectors now have access to an energy technology that offers reliability, longevity, and automatic adaptation to different routines. A system that saves where it should, delivers power where needed, and still remains intact for millions of kilometers. The difference in long-term value becomes striking when compared to competitors that still operate with conventional lithium. All of this creates a ripple effect across the industry. The more reliable and durable the battery, the less consumers need to worry about maintenance or replacements. And this inevitably impacts the car's resale value, financing options, and even insurance companies' business models. What began as a revolution in battery materials is quietly rewriting the rules of how people use, buy, and trust their electric vehicles. And this naturally raises a new question. Where is all this being produced so efficiently? The answer lies where no one expected it, in the middle of the ice in Alaska. While the world's eyes were on Giga Texas and Giga Nevada, Elon Musk quietly built a new facility called Cold Forge One. It's not just an ordinary factory. It's a brutally efficient industrial concept. The location, which at first seems insane, was strategically chosen for a simple and ingenious reason, cold. The production of the new aluminum cells requires rapid and constant cooling, and Alaska delivers this for free, directly from nature without the need to waste energy on industrial refrigeration systems. 
This translates into savings of more than 70% in energy costs during manufacturing. And when you add to that the local renewable sources, geothermal and hydroelectric power, Cold Forge One becomes a nightmare for competitors. Not only is it clean, it's nearly self-sufficient. And most provocatively, it works. Almost no Chinese inputs. While factories in China still burn coal to keep their production lines running, Musk has found a formula that combines ecology with strategic autonomy. But the plan goes beyond the factory. Tesla is about to rebuild its entire production chain around aluminum. And here, the U.S. has a huge advantage. The country already produces 0.7 million metric tons of aluminum per year, a number that could rise to 5 million with infrastructure upgrades. And, as if that weren't enough, the U.S. government still maintains 1.5 million tons in strategic reserves ready to use. This gives Tesla the ability to mass produce without depending on imports, a scenario that no Chinese automaker can match. With full control over raw materials, production, and logistics, Tesla is paving the way for something even more aggressive. Reduce the cost of batteries to less than 45 idrs suertai per kiri one by 2027. This represents 65% less than lithium-ion batteries currently made in China, which cost around $131 per cure. We're talking about a complete disruption, a cut so deep that it not only challenges China, but threatens to render it irrelevant in an industry it dominated for more than a decade. And this attack isn't symbolic, it's calculated. With plummeting prices, Tesla can offer its vehicles at a much more competitive price while maintaining healthy margins. For the Chinese, competing in this scenario means cutting costs to the point of compromising quality, which puts consumer confidence at risk. In other words, it's a dead end. Cold Forge One's advance isn't a simple business move. It's a geopolitical one, a lever that repositions the United States at the center of the new global electric race. Furthermore, the Alaskan location creates a natural shield against industrial espionage, something that has become a constant headache in Asian factories. The distance from major cities, the hostile climate, and high surveillance make Cold Forge One virtually impregnable, a discrete factor, but one that gains weight when the product in question involves such sensitive and disruptive technology. Tesla, which has suffered from leaks and copycats in the past, appears to be hedging its most valuable assets. And for those who think this is all an exaggeration, it's worth remembering that this very logic led Musk to create reusable rockets, implement AI-powered car factories, and propose underground urban tunnels. Cold Forge One follows the same script. It seems insane at first, then becomes the industry standard. And with the factory operating at full steam, a new chapter in this story emerges. Because when you put a powerful, inexpensive battery inside a fast, affordable car, someone's going to pay the price. And in this case, it could be the future of 30 million Chinese electric cars. The great irony is that while China is still celebrating its supremacy in electric vehicle production, Tesla is already preparing the funeral of much of that market. With new aluminum batteries being produced at ultra-low cost and record range, the American company will be able to reduce the final price of your cars by up to $10,000. This alone would be devastating for competition. But the real impact becomes apparent when you look at the coming years. By 2030, analysts predict that around 15 million Chinese EV exports could simply evaporate. The reason is simple. Cost and perception. Consumers in the most demanding markets, such as Europe, North America, and Australia, are no longer buying based solely on price. They want efficiency, charging speed, safety, and above all, long-term reliability. Waiting 40 minutes at a charging station to fill up a Chinese EV already seems like a waste of time. When Tesla promises recharges in less than 10 minutes, with a battery that lasts four times longer. In this new landscape, Chinese cars start to look outdated before they even arrive. 
And when this is compounded by geopolitical issues, the pressure on China increases even further. Growing distrust regarding the origin of components, production methods, and the possible use of technologies considered unsafe or obsolete has led to new trade and tariff barriers. In 2024 alone, Chinese EV exports to Europe fell 10% because of stricter policies. And all of this is happening even before Tesla officially launches its models with cold forge batteries on the global market. Furthermore, Tesla's supply chain is rapidly localizing. With aluminum production and battery assembly entirely within North America, the company avoids the tariffs and trade uncertainties that affect vehicles assembled in Asia. For the consumer, this means shorter lead times, more stable costs, and a level of quality control that most competitors can't replicate. Tesla isn't just winning in technology, it's changing the distribution game. And there is one more detail that many people ignore, patents. Tesla is already three years ahead China's record in the registration and development of aluminum ion-based technologies. This means that any attempt to copy or emulate Cold Forge's innovation will encounter a difficult legal and technical obstacle to overcome. While Chinese engineers are still working on improving lithium, Tesla is already operating in a different league, cleaner, faster, and cheaper. This technological leap is accompanied by a strategic repositioning of the brand. The new generation of batteries not only delivers what consumers want, but also reflects contemporary social values, such as sustainability and safety. They have 90% less fire risk, 50% less carbon glue, and are produced without relying on destructive mining in unstable countries. It's not just about performance, it's about awareness, a value that's growing every day among younger buyers. At this rate, the difference between a new generation Tesla and a Chinese EV is starting to feel like the difference between a high-end smartphone and a 2000s brick. The numbers, the technologies, the narrative, and the environmental impact all point in the same direction. Tesla's electric cars aren't just winning. They're redefining what it means to be a modern, competitive, and responsible EV. And in this new race, Chinese models are starting to fall by the wayside, ever further away from the finish line. What once seemed like an industrial clash now seems like a masterstroke. Because Musk not only created a new technology, but also positioned it in a global context that directly disadvantages his competitors. With price, performance, image, and politics in his favor, he's about to bury an entire segment of the global automotive industry. And the question that remains is, who will react in time before it's too late? The answer, for now, appears to be no one. Because what Tesla is delivering with these batteries goes beyond numbers and benchmarks. It's a game changer dot geopolitics and technology that shifts the balance of power within and outside the automotive industry. Cold Forge One doesn't just represent a new manufacturing plant, it symbolizes the breaking of a monopoly, the end of dependence on a Chinese-dominated supply chain, and the beginning of an era where innovation and energy sovereignty go hand in hand. And Musk, as always, positions himself well ahead of the competition, observing everything from above, with the gaze of someone who already knows the outcome of the story. Tesla didn't just cut costs and boost performance. It created a perfect narrative for a changing world, a cleaner, safer, more autonomous, and now more independent car. At a time when the entire planet is discussing energy transitions, sustainability, and Western reindustrialization, the company delivers exactly what governments, consumers, and investors want to hear and, most importantly, see happen. It's almost as if it read the script in advance 